All right, welcome back. This is Mr. Tim Check's class, uh, and we are learning how to pour our footers. Last time we learned how to tie rebar. Here's our rebar in here. All right, and so we have our horizontal, and then we have our verticals right here. We learned how to tie all the horizontals together, and uh, we have our verticals also tied in and then we have our chairs sitting here all right and so the plan for this form is to lay block on top of it so that's why we had to make sure that we spaced our rebar evenly so it can go through the hollow of the block itself so it's a little difficult to get all this true um, because it's such a small form but I think we kind of get the picture we got the rebar here and it's gonna be moving just a smidge while we're re pouring this but this will uh, work for the demonstration so I got some concrete mixed up and we're gonna start pouring here and kind of simulate how the concrete chuck kind of pours the concrete right into the form and we gotta smooth it out every once in a while all right so just to get it started i'm just going to start pre-filling in a little bit so our form is formed up with two by sixes and duplex nails all right even when you're doing with the concrete chuck you're going to start at one place and start filling that up and then just start moving on to the next. All right, so just start. Now, when you do, when the concrete chuck comes, you are gonna do something called a slump test. And that's gonna test how runny your concrete is and if it's to your liking. Hopefully it's where you need it. All right, so pretty much they put it in a cone, and if it slumps to where you need want it in your cone, then you then you're good to go. Most reliable concrete trucks and mixing companies will get it to your liking, get it to where you want. This right here is just pre-mixed from a bag. Usually, the concrete comes out of a hose of some sort, or or from a chute from the concrete chuck itself. I think I got it to where I can just start pouring it in. in there mix it up Take a quick pause while I mix up some more concrete. Mixed up another bucket of concrete here. If you notice that I just got this old chunk of block right there, that's just filler. If you're doing, I just wanted to show, if you're doing like uh, 
like a big slab or something like for stairs or a thick uh, concrete you know sidewalk or something like that you can use filler like a filler block or something like that so you don't have to use so much concrete not a bad thing to use all right so I'm just gonna keep on pouring here All right. So once you want your concrete able to move, but you also don't want it too wet. It's like a fine line what you want here. Gonna add a little bit of water to the bottom. A little bit more to the mix here. If you see what I'm doing, I'm just kind of making it in this bucket here, stirring it with a stick. Nothing fancy going on over here. It takes a lot of concrete. That's why a concrete chuck. Is where it's at when you gotta pour a lot. But I know when I was working with the Amish, uh, we sometimes we had to do it by um, a mixer, all right, and use bags of concrete. It is not fast doing it that way. Spread it out here. One thing you can do to your forms so the concrete doesn't stick to it is to spray WD-40 or any kind of lubricant like that onto your forms first so when it's time to take it off it's not so bad now you can take this form off in about four hours I mean the concrete won't be cured yet but at the same time it's not so dry and sticky that you won't be able to get it off. I'm just kind of flattening it out before the final pour here. Final pour will get a nice skim over everything. Now I'm using a brick trowel, but since it's such a small area, but normally I've been using something 
on a mag float and really smooth everything out, get it nice and even. But it's a little too big for that right. It's gonna set up nice and good there. All right, I guess gotta mix up a little bit more concrete for the top layer here. All right, let's see. This will be the last amount I need to pour here. Gonna have it in the middle here. I'm just gonna spread it out. And the goal is to get it nice and even with the form. And then so, usually, to, instead of this trowel, you'd have a big rake. You kind of get it nice and even. And, More in this corner. I think I know I got plenty over here. What I'm doing, I'm just kind of pushing, making sure everything's nice and even. Now that rebar is going to strengthen that concrete as it dries. Not looking too bad. corner now usually you want this thing almost to the point of overflowing so you could screed it off with a two by or some kind of straight edge it's a little hard with this small form Looks like I got about enough everywhere. All I gotta take is my float. There's a float here. And kind of smooth everything out. Now that's okay if it's overspilling a little bit. It will chip off. Main thing is, even with the form.
All right, everything's about even with the form here. Just trying to get as smooth as possible. Remember, there's just a block wall that's going to go on top or a more poured concrete if you're doing a poured foundation wall. So it's not like you'll ever see the actual footer itself, but it's important to get it level. So whatever you're putting your your block where your poured wall is nice and flat. Now the, it will shrink a little bit, but you want to give as even as possible to your form. There we go. A little bit. There was a little bit too much on this side. All right, there's our concrete form, nice and smooth, and that'll set up real nice. It'll probably harden and cure in at least 24 hours, all right, depending on what it is. I got it decently wet so I could pour it pretty easily from a bucket, but, you know, everything's good. One thing that you want to make sure of is that your verticals are standing straight up. All right, a lot of times when you pour your forms, they might have a tendency to go to one side or the other. All right, and that's not good. So, uh, we want to keep them straight up. And this is about your time. Make sure that it that's staying where you want it. Because once it hardens, all right, there's no really going back to it. So, everything looks pretty good here. It'll set up nicely. It's nice and flat here. And uh, we'll check it next time when we pull the uh, form and then we'll put our block on top.